right? What if we could create truth somehow and Facebook could be the purveyor of that? And obviously that's extremely difficult and I don't even know, I kind of did some research on how do we do this, but it, it seemed incredibly imp- difficult and time consuming. Do you think as a platform, they have any, like any of these social media outlets have any, I don't even want to say like, obviously not responsibility, but maybe that to scrub for truth. I I think they do. Okay. That's good to know. I mean, I think that, I think they don't think they do. They think that, They don't want to be the arbiters of truth. Right. So essentially what they do is they say, we're not going to be the arbiters of truth, but we will take down content that incites violence directly. But there's a lot of hateful content on there that stays up. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of distorted information on there that stays on there. And they have, in a couple of cases, taken a scalpel and said, well, let's actually take this out. For instance, I think they've done a decent job with COVID because they, not maybe not an excellent job, but a decent job because the consequences were grave. If, you know, the notion that Lysol was a viable treatment got propagated. So they, they sort of convinced themselves that it was in the public interest to get rid of that misinform that medical misinformation. And so they did it, mm-hmm. which is interesting for interesting in my mind, because it means that they can do it if they want to. Mm-hmm. For all the other content though that remains, they leave it and say, it's free speech. We don't want to be the arbiters of truth. The problem with that, in my opinion, is that then the algorithm becomes the arbiter of truth Mm. somewhat blindly. And it shows you your echo chamber of facts and information. And it shows someone else, a different set of facts and information based on what will create the most engagement. It's not maximizing Right. Or truth, right? It's maximizing for engagement. And if we just showed everybody the same set of facts and, and, op- and, and optimize for truth, we actually would likely see a big decline in engagement. And I think that's where the rub is. And oh, by the way, that's where the misalignment is between, in my opinion, the business model of advertising and having a social media service. I think it leads to ultimately bad outcomes. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out that clip. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're interested in hearing the full episode, it's out right now on our YouTube channel. We've had a lot of great guests come on this show before and we've got a lot of great guests coming up in the future. So hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And one final note, we're always looking for new ideas and new companies to feature on the show. So if you know of someone or know of a company, write us a comment down below letting us know who they are and what they do. We'd be happy to have them on the show. Till then, I'll just be here waiting for your comments. So, uh, see you later.